I have to ask that. What's the difference between the, oh, Holy, yeah, the, ghost, the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost? Okay, do you want to, you want to go over that one? <laughs> no, where you go, bitch. Okay, so... <laughs> no, seriously, though, like, if we were to just ask you, what's a ghost? Mm. If you weren't thinking too hard, what would you say? A, a spirit. Okay. I know you're thinking hard. A ghost is a dead person, mm. isn't it? Right. When people die, they say, oh, doppy or whatever. Yeah? yeah. So... The reason I use the word ghost is because when you go to church, they say the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And Jesus, who was passed on, is in the state of a being that was here but is no longer here. But they will tell you that he's still here. And, and we say, okay, where is he? They will say the Holy Ghost. Now, when you go to church and people like, they start to, um, like they're singing, they're chanting, and then they get into a frenzy. And a lot of the times, more like Pentecostal, Pentecostal churches and things like that, they start to foam in the mouth and they throw themselves on the floor. And they said they've caught the Holy Ghost. This is disembodied beings that are still roaming the planet. Now, a lot of times churches are built right, in, right near a cemetery or there's a cemetery around the church. Mm. <clears throat> so what's happening is when they're beckoning and calling on these beings, they come and try to utilize the physical body. So they fuse with the person that's alive to utilize the body. And then that's when they become uncomfortable and they, f they start throwing on the floor and you know, they're like that. And they say they're called the Holy Ghost. Now in the scriptures, especially in the Bible, Jesus said, I'm, I'm, I have to go, but I will send the comforter. Yeah. In the scriptures, the comforter is referred as the Holy Spirit, yeah. the Comforter will come. And that's where Muhammad came in, in the um, Islamic religion. Mm. <clears throat> but when Muhammad came along, he said that uh, an angel called Gabriel or Jibril came to him. Gabriel is a Holy Spirit, meaning like when he came, he didn't put him in an uncomfortable state. He was able to just talk to him in a calm way, and it's the same way throughout the Bible, scriptures, Quran. Every time Gabriel comes, he comes with love, peace, and calmness. So that's the big difference between a ghost and a spell um, and a spirit, because ghosts are disembodied beings that are trapped here within this realm, and they can't leave here unless they make the grade. The spirit helps your soul to travel further. And without like, it's like um, another way I can put it, make it easy for people to digest. You know, like when a rocket is going up, if you ever watch a, a rocket launch into space, they will launch and then, like when they get past the, the atmosphere, you've got, because you've got the spheres, right? When they get past that, they then release the, um, the stuff that was used for the pro propelling to go up, yeah. like, and then the, the, the other piece just floats. It's the same with your soul and your spirit. Because this is another thing, because in the Bible, you have the word soul and you have the word spirit. People mistranslate both of them into one. Because when you ask people, what's the difference between a soul and a spirit? They can't answer the question a lot of the times because they, they think they're both the same thing, but they're not. Everything on the planet has a spirit. So trees have spirits, animals have spirits. Everything has a spirit because it's dealing with vibration, but not everything has a soul. And a soul is, remember when I talked about that ignition and kicking off your solar plexus to make you connect with the higher realms and the, do you know what I mean? Like the nine ether. So with the soul now, you can um, have emotions and you can dance and you can do things that, like I said, a tree is alive, but it doesn't have like emotions in that way. Yeah, I hope that's helped you to understand yeah, the difference yeah. between the, the soul and the spirit. Of course, you know, we come from a different angle and people that might not be familiar with it might say, nah, 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 but like I said, bring the facts and bring the proof.